Hi, my name is Mark. I'm going to quickly run through the problems I encountered whilst trying to open a corrupted, damaged InDesign file and the eventual solution um, I was able to stumble upon. So to start off with, let's open InDesign. The recovery screen, which I tried every option, yes, no, and cancel, and it would then, after opening the, 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 the file for a brief period of time, it then crashed. So, as an example, uh, the design crashed on opening it. If I open it again, it should give me the auto recovery screen, which it does. Um, Let's click yes and let's say see if it can auto recover it and it stops working. Um, so I've had this um, problem for quite some time, sort of going back and forth between opening it, closing it, auto recovering it, not auto recovering it. Um, occasionally it opened um, for a brief period of time before the program stopped working again. So the two options, well, the two serious options that I came across um, in order to solve this problem was firstly to create a new, a new document and try to place the old document into the new one um, and the second one was to delete the preferences, get rid of the preferences or your, your defaults and, your, um, and also your file recovery um, files, your, in a sense your auto back files. Um, so let's go through the first one, which um, would be creating a new document. So we'll put cancel, and it should take me to the welcome in screen. And what we want to do is create a new document. Let's try make it similar to the document that is corrupted. So when, I play, when if, if it does place, it places correctly. The size is custom in the corrupted file, but it's smaller than A4, so A4 should work. And we'll zoom out. And we're now going to try place. The decarceration corrupted file. and eventually the import fails. The other option is to drag the file in question into the new document but in the end the result is this one. The other option was, as I mentioned before, getting rid of the defaults. Now that can be accessed through your C drive and your, your main user, application data, you go into your local folder in your Adobe InDesign, go into the version you're running, um, you go into InDesign Recovery. Delete the files inside it. You delete your saved data. This is super you delete all of these. So go then go back into roaming Adobe design version you're running and delete your in your defaults. And you try open it again. Okay. 
and the third thing is JP. See if I request the funds. Push as well, and it then stops working. So, after exhausting all my options as to what I can do by myself, um, I managed to stumble across um, the Marksware website um, as a sort of extreme last resort in recovering data from an InDesign file. Um, I managed to get hold of one of their technicians and uploaded my file to him and within I suppose a couple of minutes of um, well, a few hours of receiving the, the file he managed to recover it and had sent it back to me and I'm now in the process of uh, just for sort of fixing the format. Um, obviously, when it came back, a, lot of, a few of the, the layouts, um, things had, uh, had moved around. Um, so, yeah, in conclusion, rather than bash your head against the wall trying to find a solution yourself, um, if it is worth paying somebody to do it, um, rather save the time, save the stress, save the worry and send it through to the guys at Marksware and they will sort it out for you. Alright, thank you.